This is Eugene Pankovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP 3125 notebook computer with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an HP 3125 notebook computer. Before we do anything with this and most other laptop computers, we want to remove all sources of power, and that means the battery. In order to do that, we flip the laptop over, slide the lever to the right, lift up the battery, and remove it. While we're on the bottom, under the battery, in the compartment, you can see where the motto of this laptop is, motto number, and it says HP 3125. It also says the same thing on the front of the laptop in the lower right hand corner. Okay, Before we start with the procedure we're going to go over the tools we're going to need for this job. We have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 0 is the size. We have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and that's to remove any adhesive tape. And also we have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate any cables or screws that may be stuck. So let's get started with this. The first order of business is to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. Now for most laptops there are some screws holding the screen bezel on, but for this particular laptop there's no screws, it just snaps off. So in order to snap off the screen bezel, what we do is use our fingertips or fingernails to reach on the screen side of the bezel and gently lift up the plastic and start lifting up and out and snapping it off. Once you start hearing snapping sounds, that's a good thing. And doing this, work your way around the screen like so. And if it gets stuck at a certain place, keep going and come back to that place later. And on the bottom, there's some adhesive. So let me show you what to do here. And what you do is you put your finger in there and make sure the adhesive stays, stays with the screen and not with the bezel because the adhesive is actually part of the screen. So being careful to do that. And once you do that, just tilt the bezel forward like this. And there's some snaps on the bottom that you can snap those off when you tilt the screen forward. Okay, once we do that, let's take a look at the screen assembly. Uh, for this type of screen, it's a slim screen and it's mounted on some side mounting tabs with screws. There's four screws. There's one here one here and two at the bottom right here. So next step is to remove these screws. We tilt the screen assembly back a little bit and use our PH0 screwdriver to start removing these screws. Make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back and the reason is once you remove the screws you don't want the screen falling forward on you. And we have the third screw. This one's a little bit harder, but we can do it. And we have number four. Once you do that, put the laptop to the side and gently start tilting the screen forward, making sure it's not getting stuck on anything, and lay it down like so. For this screen, we only need to remove one connector here, and it's secured by some adhesive tape. So what we want to do is use our X-Acto knife or X-Acto blade to lift up the corner of the tape and use our fingertips to do the rest, just to gently lift it up, being careful not to damage anything while we're lifting it up. And what happened here is I was lifting up the sticker 
and not the tape. So let's try again. And I'm making a mess of it here. So let's try a different corner. Okay, I think I got the tape this time. Or at least part of the tape. And what I'm going to do is just cut off this tape so it's not in our way, like so. Okay, once we have the tape freed, what we want to do is have better access to the connector. So there's a cable going on the bottom that's secured in. So we gently pry out the cable a little bit so we have better access to the connector. And once we do that, we grab the connector by the back and gently pull it out like so. I'm going to put it back in. And this is a little bit harder to connect. So when you connect it, you'll feel but not hear two clicking. You feel and not hear two clicks. That means it's properly engaged. So let's get a close up of this connector. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. So I'll pause the video right here and this is what a properly connected connection looks like. Okay, let's back off again and we're going to pull the connector out again and let's take a look at this screen. This is a 11.6 inch LED slim screen with metal bracket mounting tabs on the side. There's another version of the screen that has mounting tabs on top and bottom. Make sure you don't get this version. Make sure you have this version with the tabs on the side on the picture. Let's take a look at the part number. And the part number is N116BGE-L42. That's the part number that you're looking for. Okay, once you're ready to order a replacement screen, we at Screen Surgeons have this screen available. And what you get with us is this toolkit. It comes for free with the screen. You also get free day, uh, free express shipping. We ship from the East Coast, so you have your screen in two or three days when you choose free shipping. We have a two-year warranty on our screens, and we have free email technical support. To order this screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out, and that will guide you to buy the right screen online, and you can use the online checkout. If you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world, and just go through the regular checkout procedure and then choose your country. Once you do get this screen in, connected as I showed you, mounted in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the bottom and two screws in at the top, and then snap the screen bezel back on. You might have to work the hinge covers a little bit for them to snap on, but it should be no problem. And then your laptop will be good as new. Okay, uh, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Penrikovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.